Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our English class. Hello. Hi, hi. Are you there? Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, hello. How are you? Well, I'm I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> and oh, you? Great, great to know that. How was your day? Was good? Yeah, it was good. Not yeah, good. Relaxed. Yeah. Okay, that's great to know. So, well, there are some students joining right now the class, and that's really good. So, welcome to everyone, especially because we have a great class today. And also because we have a lot of things to talk today, uh, the great topics to share, and the most valuable the way to that we can also interact, you know, to practice English. So with that motivation, we can also start uh, part of the class, and uh, and at the same time, I always encourage you to, you know, to work hard and also do your best in every single class. It, yesterday, I could say that we had a great class because we can. We can also talk about different things, vocabulary and expressions that can help us to you know, maximize our skills. And especially when we talk about millennials, people who, you know, many, many of the students here, they um, they are millennials according to the time, the age, and uh, some specific characteristics. And that was good, right? Because there are great things that perhaps we can also talk about. Let's see. And uh, I hope that we can um, enjoy, you know, good things. We can also enjoy the class and also you can have the freedom to talk. One thing is that I can tell you about my personal experience when, when learning English is that sometimes we don't have enough you know, time to interact. We we'll study grammar, we read, we, we check vocabulary, we work on exercises, but sometimes teachers, they don't give like a time to, to practice. The students, they have a good time you know, learning vocabulary and expression, but they don't have the, the, the enough space to talk. It's not enough. So they need to take a time to talk, develop their skills to see if they also can improve um, grammar and they can also um, study vocabulary and expressions. But how do you know if you're pronouncing good? Uh, practicing, that's very important. So that's why it's necessary that we can uh, talk, we can uh, practice, we can also interact with real speakers. At the same time, we get, um, as I can say, the confidence when talking. And that's one. I'm sorry, can, can you listen to me? Hello? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. much better. It because I, I was using the, the, you know, the computer speakers, but I switched to to headphones that uh, I feel more confident in that way. Okay, so in that case, we're gonna start and uh, we're gonna have a short feedback of what we did in the class yesterday, all uh, learning expressions and vocabulary. And we're gonna, I will test you about, if you remember, what, what vocabulary was studied and also the meaning of different words. Let's see here, we're eighth students right now. It's eight four, so congratulations for those who have been here early since the very beginning. Let's see here what we have in this part. So we can appreciate here in the next video conference. Model one, section three, video conference 18. Imagine we're on video conference 18. We're talking about described stereotypes about millennials. We have been talking in this third unit about millennials, about some features, characteristics, important things, challenges they experience, especially when getting a job, how to deal with uh, millennials, uh, how to work with them in a the company. So there are challenges that perhaps uh, people experience with uh, millennials because there are some specific characteristics that millennials have and also make them um, interesting at the same time, but challenges in some ways. So let's see what's going on. Well, we saw yesterday, uh, I would like to focus about this part and um, about this one. Can you see it? Yes? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, much better. Thank you. So um, you can appreciate here the, the job hoopers. Do you remember what was the meaning about job hoopers? Because for some situations of life, I forgot about that. So you can tell me. So what was a job hooper? Let's see. Who wants to break the eyes and say, teacher, I remember we did this. And by the way, I just want to congratulate some students like Emerson, um, Cifredo, Carlos, Osman, uh, because they have the camera on. That's good because we can see you guys. That's perfect. So what do you remember about job hoopers? It was a very, very interesting word. I remember that yesterday I discussed this kind of people frequently change the world in a short period. So they are like uh, switching jobs, changing. Changing, okay. But I have a question. When, when we're talking about job hoopers, um, because they change job positions, do you think that this is a kind of unstable job or do you think they change because they look for better opportunities? Well, what do you think? Uh, they switch jobs because this is a kind of unstable for them or because they look for better chances? I think it depends on the person. Could be both. <laughs> probably someone is stable at work, and probably someone is looking for improve their job. Um, every time. Okay, so that that's pretty important. Um, well, I know that it is always important to you know, to think about some possibilities and changes people have. And also there are some jobs that are very interesting. So people can change job because they would like to have an stable job with a better payment and some other benefits that one company offers than others. So there are two ways, right? Ones that people don't feel comfortable and they are very unstable. So that's why they switch jobs um, from suddenly. But there are some other circumstances in which there are better opportunities. And, you know, they become job hoopers because they look for other opportunities in those companies. What about job tenure? What, what do you remember about this term? Uh, what, do you, what we study about this? Um, students, let's see. I, I was checking here. Well, there are some students joining right now in the class. All right. So tell me, what was a job tenure? What do you remember we said about this about this um vocabulary or this key term? I remember uh, green teacher. Um, I remember this concept refers when uh uh person um, uh, has long time working uh, for a specific employer. Okay, thank you so much. So we, we could like, you know, say the meaning about that, you know, especially this about job tenures, as you mentioned, right? Is the length of time an employee has worked for their employer. Sometimes could be two years, five years, 10 years working in the company. So that's what we call job tenure. Is the length of time an employee has worked for their employer. That's good. As you mentioned before, that was very interesting. And also we had the word stereotype. What you remember what we said about stereotypes.
So tell me about it. What was the stereotype? Yes, remember? Me teacher, I yes. remember. I remember that stereotypes. It's a word used used in the actually for the sociality for classify some people or 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 some groups that are different than the normal than the others. Yeah, yes, as we were said, uh, and also we were discussing about that part too. You know, it's a mistaken idea or belief that many people have about things or groups. In face open, they look on the outside, right? You should be like these people. Oh, the stereotype, ha you have to be like this because that is the way you should be. If you are like this one, you respect the stereotype and you follow that part. And that is not a way. It's a mistaken way to see things. Or it's a mistaken way to see people. Because they are different, we have to be like them. So that's one of the mistakes about stereotypes. And as you mentioned before, that was very important to discuss about that. And the last word we have here about boost, what we said about that. Yes, what you remember about this? We should know this word, guys. Remember, in every class we see words, you should know what's the real meaning about it. If you don't know that, you can take notes in Spanish or know the meaning in English. Is the action of the improve something? Exactly, right? So especially in a company, when there are some situations that perhaps we cannot handle, uh, we should we should boost our projections or we should boost our production because it's so important. So that can help us to improve or increase our capacities. And it happens especially for every employee in a company. Um, sometimes we are like, uh, we are trying to reach something or get something important and we try as much as we can. And we go with that. We go trying, trying, so we boost our knowledge because that is the way of helping or encouragement leading to increase or improvement. For example, uh, we're talking about managers. Managers encourage people to to work. You know, you can do it, you can try. Well, don't stop, keep it out, trying the best. And so they are like trying to reach their goals. And we saw, uh, we saw this vocabulary. So it's important guys to take notes about these words because first, when we learn new vocabulary, we feel confident to you know to learn and to express more ideas in English. Remember that we uh, studied previously the vocabulary, and I don't ask that because you should know about the willfully ignorance. We talk about the self-centered, um, self-centered person. We also talk about self um, self-entitled person. We also talk about in um, well, first millennials. So today we're gonna watch a video depending on the time we have. And you will see the same terms about self-entitlement. So you should remember what was the real meaning about that because when you watch the video, you will remember the meaning about the self-entitlement. And also when we talk about self-centered person and uh, willfully ignorant. So don't forget every word we study because at the end it's gonna help us to in enrich our vocabulary in English. Let's move. Let's continue. Yes? No? Yes. Perfect. Let's go then. Well, so we have an article that is very interesting to check. Oh, says, oh, read the following article called Article you know, Night Tips for Managing Millennials. Take notes about the night tips. Then share with your classmate each tip. Um, most of us, we are like, um, in our company's leaders and uh, we know about, um, the way how we can manage millennials on, on some other generations, like C, generation C and some others, 
like uh, baby boomers, so on. We can talk about that. In a company, we we uh, we socialize with different people from different ages, by the way, and also from each of them, we got experienced. We have a talent. We have a lot of things to do, and one of the valuable points of this is that we can um, learn from each people. Doesn't matter the age. The important is the way how they interact, what they know, and everything. Now, we're going to have a short challenge to read the following article about tips for managing millennials. What is the real purpose about that? It's the first one to know about millennials, about how they think, about how they interact, how you can deal with them, how can you negotiate with them, especially when you're trying to do something, and also how can you can work together in the same rhythm. So that's why it's really important. So we're going to take a short time to uh, read this tips. And uh, we're going to try to summarize each tip. And then we're going to work in the break room. And we're going to be discussing each one. So as I said before, uh, because we're at bounce one, at this level, you shouldn't be like um, embarrassed to talk in class. You should be like very positive and try to talk. Uh, I don't know. I feel sometimes that I, I don't express my ideas or I don't know how to say that. Don't worry about it. You, If you have doubts, you can ask questions. If not, you can try. That's why we're here in the class, because by practicing, we learn. When we learn a lot, we have more ways to improve. Uh, and as I told you before, in my personal experience, when I was learning English time ago, I was like, uh, had a lot of doubts to speak, speak in a class. I, I sometimes I didn't want to talk because I was a little nervous to make a mistake in front of other people. So I didn't want to talk. And, uh, you know, but, you know, at university, um, your teachers or professors encourage you to talk. After talking, talking, I got confidence. And then, you know, your English improves a lot. So that's why it's really important. It's a good strategy. Well, right now, I'm going to share with you guys the, the link. And so you can also check about this part. Oh, sorry. One second. Let's see, please, let me check this side here. Well, actually this one. Well, uh, you can see question until now guys. And because we're in advance, we have been like working different levels since the be beginning, basic, intermediate and advanced. For you guys, what is skill is easier to manage from the four main skills like listening, reading, writing and speaking. Which skills is easier for you guys or manageable? Uh, tell me your experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which English skill is easy for you guys? For me, teacher, it's easier reading. Uh, reading? Reading. Okay. For me. And the most difficult? The most difficult may be listening. Okay, especially when we're talking about different accents, right? British accent, Australian accent, American accent. Yeah. Okay. So you're in the right place because um you need you practice listening to your classmate talking. Thank you, Carlos. I really appreciate it. That's why. So, so, so the best we have different needs, especially with the main skills. Someone else would like to talk about the, what, what is like the easiest skill and what's the most difficult? In my case, teacher, uh, I agree with Carlos. Uh, for me, it's easier uh, writing, uh, reading. Uh, it's more difficult uh, listening because uh, listening for the people of the of the United States because uh, you and the other teacher or or, co or classmate I understand 90 percent but the people that of the United States it is very difficult to me understand yes uh, writing writing also 
it is difficult for me. Yeah, because you have to focus about grammar too. So yeah, I totally understand that part. And um, yeah, it's about practicing is not one of the ways. Well, and also for example, we combine two tips like this. First, you read, and then you after you make a summarize about the most important, and then you start writing, taking notes. So that's uh, two strategies at the same time. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Someone else that would like to talk about it, you know, one, one volunteer to express, you know, what is the most difficult, you know, skills and the easiest. Someone else? Yes, someone else. Hello, <laughs> in my case, I think my best skill is as well reading in English. Um, probably me, my weakest skill is listening. I mean, because the accents and because some people talk too fast, so it's difficult to understand. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, uh, Sprito. Well, we understand that English, the, well, in the United States, there are different accents inside the country. For example, in the north side, in the south, you know, central area, you know, the accent changes a lot. And also, it could be speakers that are speak so fast. But at the same time, there are some speakers who speak slow, depending on who's talking. And also, the, the most important goal that I told you before is like try to take uh, take a short time to to listen carefully most of the time, and then you will get familiar with the accent and the way people talk. For example, have you heard about the the president? Oh no, Donald Trump. Have you heard about Donald Trump, the the ex president of the United States, and nowadays like candidate for it the Republicans for being the president of the United States. Have you heard about Donald Trump? No? Yes. Okay, for example, uh, is it easy to understand Donald Trump? Mm, maybe, because he speaks strong. He speaks slow. He speaks slow. Like, wow. like the previous presidents, like Barack Obama, Donald Trump, they speak very, very slow in comparison to some other Americans. And, yes. also, and also the advantages like um because they speak for the nation, they speak for different people from different nationalities living in the United States. So they should be understandable when they give some speech. Um, and so depending on the people uh, who speak English fast or slow, that's the only one difference they have. And that's why we have to be adaptive to different accents and also the what level of fluency they have, fast or slow, you know, that's very important. Well, right now, guys, we're going to be sharing with you the link that is corresponding to uh, the night tips. I want you to read the tips, take a short summary in a briefly way because of the time we have, and then we're going to make breakup rooms. We're going to be trying to reach uh, an agreement about those tips. If we totally agree or not about how to manage millennials. That's one of the points. Okay, so the first question that I have here is like, can you see the link? Yes, can you see the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, much better now. So we're gonna give you some, uh, specifically five minutes to check this part. We can take six, depending on the time. And then we'll be asking you, um, as soon as possible to make sure that all of you are working on that one. If you have any doubts or questions, you had a freedom to ask, and I'll be here around helping you with everything. Okay, good luck, and let's read this article because it's very interesting.
Okay, students, um, how are you going? Doing great? Yes, you read the article? Osman? No, yet. no, yet, teacher. Okay, a couple of minutes. Please, please. Okay. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. We can have a short time to, to read the article and also get the main ideas about each part or each tip. That's one of the valuable points we can discuss in the class. Okay, we're going to take a short time to check the attendance list. And also, um, meanwhile, you finished, and then we we uh, start, you know, our talk with the breakup rooms. So just uh, allow me to check the attendance list. At least in your name, you say present. One moment, please. Say. Okay, let's see. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Um, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Emerson Lises Monroy. Present teacher. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. Quintanilla. Thank you. Just Manatilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, Chia. Okay. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Kevin. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. 
Present. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Ok, Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present. A Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy, she was there at all. Uh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. And uh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher, I'm here, Kevin Lucero. Excuse me, I lost the signal a little bit. Okay, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I saw that here. But also we have Wendy, but she's connected. And also Mirna. Um, they are here connected, but they don't say present. Well, so guys, we're going to start right now because of the time, um, you know, our conversation. The most valuable point about this is that we're going to take a short time to discuss about the tips, how to manage millennials, so because that's really important. And also at the same time, socialized, how valuable is, um, you know, trying to know what the strategies of the next we can use to handle situations with millennials. Um, so people say that they have great capacities. But at the same time, some other people say that it's a little bit challenging because they are a little unstable about what they do in a job. So that depends on every single person. But the most important is that because of your experience, because most of you are here millennials, some of you are like baby boomers, depending on the ages. And uh, one student, what I understand is in um, X is uh, C, right? Generation C. So we have different, you know, generations right here in the class. So I want you to like talk a little bit with your partners about the points, about tips. Well, for me, the tip number two attracted my attention because it's really important to focus about, you know, how they deal different changes related to technology and all the stuff. So you can also be free to talk, express your ideas and toast. Don't be quiet, try to generate conversations um, and focus on the article. You can paraphrase if you would like to. For example, I just want to read this your short line because attract my attention about articles. You can also uh, take a short time to discuss with your partners about that. Uh, practice as much as you can. Don't be afraid if you have any questions or doubt. Don't hesitate to do that one. And we're going to be like dealing uh, with the great conversations. And then uh, after, like, we're going to take five minutes the most. And after when we go back to the main sections, we're going to um, discuss, you know, some valuable points about the tips. So let's make the breakup rooms and practice.
I I have had experience in my job. Is in my job uh, not not all is money. Uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, it's necessary recognize the force um is is not only no uh, all time is the money um uh, um for example uh the lines is um uh, it's just not the primary motivations. It's important the money for me, but uh, uh, for me, uh, uh, there is there is more. For example, uh, when I mistake in my job, uh, the bosses <laughs> they make uh, I don't know fila, <laughs> but. Um, make a line I'm, the line yeah. I'm gonna stay me <laughs> but they, they call I, you, really they, they call your attention because of that yes it's it's, it's the reason is that it's the type the, the my job is um, it's the uh, transmission the energy electric it's important not not uh, not wrong. When I make very good my job, not not nothing pass, not pass, nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's complicated. Yeah. Um, I told you, it's it's not all money. Yeah, I know that feel bro. Yeah, in in the article, maybe I agree with millennials. Okay. I think I see the provide opportunities for learning and development. I I agree with that. Because, um, for example, in my case, I I love to learn, and something happened in my work. Uh, recently, my my boss uh, asked me for. Uh, quit the quit my lessons and I don't want I I I, I wanna try to end the, the courses because the work is hard today and I have a more of uh, requirements 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 thank you uh, I have a lot of requirements now uh, but I try to to finish the, the course but I I think she don't understand what what important is to me. Okay. No. Oh, yes, we're listening here. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, Sefrida or Wendy? I don't know. Who was going to be the next one?
Yes, who's next? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Uh, for example, how to live the wing, on wing, to understand the reconciliation, take care of retention, be a mentor, uh, not a boss or create a stronger organizational culture, be aware of the necessary for me. I need I need I need time for me. I have a life. <laughs> yes. For for these examples, uh, this statement is is important for me. Very good. So the other that calls my attention, let me see. And, and tell me what do you think about the number three? Number Money three, isn't all. Let me see. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I I agree. Uh, if mm, mm, okay, let me see. If the environment of the culture of the company is not good or is mm, toxic, uh, I leave the my work. I want I. I will want to leave my job. The money is in everything. <laughs> in the in this case, uh, in the other, uh, the second. I yes. need a, a personal life. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I. My job. Uh, mm, mm, my job pay me uh, enough, but if I don't have a life. Uh, I'm not sure. It's it's not. Mm, no lo vale. No sé cómo decirlo yes. ahorita. Isn't worth it. Isn't worth it. It's never enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, when I read this this speech, I the first thing that spring to my mind was a uh, a co-worker's fathers. He is an, an older man. So I remember that he said that when the when El Salvador won in 82, he was young. And so he said that he remembered that in, in the house, his parents most of the time were, were in a toxic environment. So his father and his mother always were rejecting him because he don't provide money, that he don't do anything and whatever thing like that. So he become to to the military. He entered to the military. Huh. And so he said, well, and, and he compares. He finished his year because he said that was a year that you have to do it. But when he, when he finished his year, he started to, to think in the future and he said, well, here reject me, but there is money in my house. <laughs> most of my parents reject me and there is no money. For that reason, he is staying in the, in the military. <laughs> mm, yeah. Money is, is never the whole, but sometimes support. For the family. 
Así decía. Ah, bueno. Ya, ya decía, me regañaban y me daban reata, pero me pagaban. Nah. <risa> no, qué mal. Y en la casa me ponían que a la mil para todo y por cualquier cosa que yo no hacía nada. <risa> hmm. Yes, and. Uh... It's similar to. to, 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 to... Number seven. Yes. Recognize. Uh, let me see. Recognize need. their need for recognition. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's, in some cases, the boss uh, <laughs> doesn't have um, recognition in front. Uh, mm, um, circumstances. And you have, you, you did your work, you did, you did your task, and their boss, oh, okay, <laughs> but they don't, they don't know if you, if But... you had a bad day, if you are stressed, if, if you... What? <laughs> What else? It's like And... it's like they don't they don't see your effort, or they yeah. don't they don't congratulate you because what you they have only done. see they only see their 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 results. And that's it. No, that, enough. It doesn't matter in part. Ah, okay, it doesn't but matter, it doesn't matter. What? <laughs> What you did? It's not. Uh... What you did? So they they don't care about what you did. All yes. the results, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and also, I'm. I was actually thinking about it that you know, leaders or employers or boss, perhaps they should take a short time to congratulate employees because that encourages them to do a great job. So they don't know in what circumstances you have done something. I know it's your responsibility because you are hired to do a great job. But yeah. at the same time, because you have to do it, there's no choice. But the most important is that when you encourage someone or congratulate a person for something that you have done, you feel good. You feel motivated. And when yes. uh, there is motivation in a company or in a job, you enjoy it a lot what you are doing. That's why it's really important. Yes, the recognition is important. Right, sir. Okay, what else? Okay, I believe that we were discussing the, the nine. <laughs> the nine. The, the ah, whole. Come on. <laughs> Don't disconnect the digital natives. Only then, I believe that we don't talk about the number five. Number five, number five, be mentors, not bosses. Yeah, <laughs> be mentors. Yeah, because uh, you see your boss is like as a mentor, uh, they teach me from that, from that, for that. And they teach me how is the the best way to to do something. And I learn for for they or for her. Yeah. And but <laughs> In some cases, uh, some boss are boss. Yeah. Only they they providing uh, orders. Activities, for example, the 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 last week we um uh, we had a a a competition in in San Salvador. They like to run 
and it's different uh, because um, my first son, um, I like different activities for they work they uh, for for his work and uh, he works in a hospital and it's it's interesting but it's very difficult uh, meet with they <laughs> your your fears uh, son is millennial right yeah uh -huh. And they, uh, he has a uh, a lot of energy. He has uh, many skills um, because he studies right now uh, two careers. He study uh, administration in a, a national uh, university. And he studies um, uh, systems in the um, uh, Unicaes here in Santa Ana. And he works in a hospital here in Santa Ana. Uh, he has a lot of energy. He has a different voice because uh, he likes um, different activities. He likes uh, the system computers. He likes to uh, talk uh, in front of the people, and uh, he he has a lot of energy. Yes, he, it's a different uh, for the other than generation. Yes, and uh, you said a few minutes ago, uh, he done uh, in just he don't want uh married he don't think that they uh, have a song no he thinks uh, for the others um uh, activities uh, he likes uh, travel for the other countries uh, with uh, his friends and uh, study uh, be professionals and he has a different uh, ways to to things the millennials has different yes it is very very different yes. uh, uh -huh. and you need probably the opportunity of learning and development too because yes. uh -huh, he likes different activities and just just a millennial a million generation. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that and, and and the company is interesting. Uh, when you can meet with a different generation, because uh, you need to have that capacity for manage the different peoples and different generation for the different tools. Uh, for example, in my case, I have a teamwork. In my teamwork, I have a people with, a, I don't know, 18 or 19 years old, but I have a different operator that have um, 42, 45 years old. And and two personalities are different, but you need to. Sorry, but uh, I need to have a uh, the um, uh, capacity for, for manage these people. Yes, uh, I can see in um, in in my work, uh, for example, the they uh, use care about results.
Okay, now everybody's here. So I was uh, listening to all of you guys talking a little bit about the the tips and about millennials. And uh, well, so we cannot, you know, definitely, you know, discuss each one because we have done that one in the groups. But the most vulnerable points there are some important things to discuss different aspects that perhaps we can talk about millennials and also the, the capacity to learn. Some millennials are very smart when learning something, especially they get familiar or they adapt, attach to technology so they can work in technology in an easy, easy and fast way. Okay, I need two students, well, that can help me to uh, express one of the tips that attract your attention. One tip that you say, you know, teacher, uh, between all the tips were interesting, but I would like to focus about this tip because, I mean, I could learn that maybe we can deal in this way with um, these uh, millennials. So I need a volunteer to express which of the tips calls your attention or something that you would like to highlight in this conversation. As I said here in the plenary, do it because we are everybody here ready to listen and learn from you guys because every point of view you give, every participation you have here is important. We can see, oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's Wendy speaking. Oh, it's Ricardo. It's Carlos Ernesto. He's speaking. So we learn from each other. I'm here to help you, to facilitate the process of learning. But you make the difference. You are the one who learn also being autodidactic too. So we learn from each other. So who wants to uh, take a short time and also um, think about one of the tips that call your attention? Uh, teacher, I can, uh, I want to give a short opinion. Excellent, do it. Uh, uh, in, in, in this article, uh, there is something very important and interesting for me. Uh, the, the is offer a balance between personal and professional life. Yes, uh, I, I think uh, this uh, advice uh, or tips is uh, is good not only for the millennials, uh, but uh, but for us too. Yes, because uh, now this generation don't want to work. Long, 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 long time around the day. Yes, they want to work for objectives, for objectives, for the goals. Yes, uh, they they don't prefer. Uh, they don't want to work. Uh, uh, in the day, uh, in the afternoon, in, in the evening. Mm, also, don't don't want work uh, on Saturday, on Sunday. They prefer uh, work very hard uh, from Monday to Friday, and never, never forget uh, working for a, a goals for objectives. Uh, I think uh, also it's important for us too. My my generation is uh, X, uh, and for me it is important to have time for my family, for me, for take a, re a relax. Yes, it's important. Uh, I think we need to to understand too. Uh, we we need to work for 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 a for a salary. Yes, but not only that. We need to we, we need to work for uh, enjoy the life. Yes, enjoy the life. And a way to enjoy the life is to be fine, to be good in in a job. Yes. To, to have a stabi a stability, right? And yes, stability. Economically and also re related to your job too. Yes, and also the salary is important. That should be yes, I, I think, competitive. I think, uh, excuse me. I think uh, th there are uh, many things important for for us, for all. Uh, you, you, you told us uh, salary, uh, em environment, uh, uh, the time, uh, time, uh, don't don't get uh, a schedule, a, st uh, a stressful schedule. Yes, that that's all, teacher. 
Thank you so much, Osman. It's really important. Obviously, that we should have a very important environment in order to be successful in what we do. The encouragement. I was listening to somebody here in this group talking about the 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 level of encouragement the people should have, and also the boss or the manager. In some cases, should like encourage the employees to do a great job because everybody would like to be encouraged, would like to be congratulated in a moment of life because. When somebody tells you, wow, oh my, oh man, you have done a great job today. You are like, wow, it was good. Somebody congratulate me for what I did. It's my job, but I feel good. Sometimes it's important as human beings, we should be motivated to do a great job. When we're motivated and we have the best environment resources, we're going to be very successful in what we do. So we don't have to forget that part. And that's was something that I think is necessary to do every time. Great job for that. Okay, I need another volunteer to, to give us your opinion. So, Osman is one of the students that always participate. That's good. And I see... I, yes, tell I, me. I would like to talk about the, the first uh, the first tips. The first tip is provide opportunities for learning and development. Um, in my case, I feel that I want to know new things uh, each day. Because if I know uh, a new thing, maybe in the future I'm going to be the responsible, the responsible about this activity, and I'm going to feel um, most important or more more important in, in the company or for the company for the companies, um, and and. And for this reason, I agree with the first tip. Provide opportunities for learning and development uh, because I feel that is real. Yes, that, that is very necessary. So your generation C, right? And yeah, but uh, the, the paragraph say, does burn in the 90s <laughs> i i'm born in 97 <laughs> and and i feel a little bit like that <laughs> for this reason <laughs> i i compare uh, the things yeah sometimes we are related to uh, previous generations we have a combination between the or yeah, yeah. generation and the previous one because our parents Relatives, do you have brothers or sisters? Do you have a brother or sisters older? Yeah, than but my my brothers uh born in in 20 in ah. 20 20 oh one. 20 oh one. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that's okay. So it's it's younger, it's younger than you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's that's younger. okay. Okay, that's cool. Thank you so much, Kevin. It was very interesting. Yeah, Fry, so we can appreciate here is like, you know, um, we also, we have to be confident with what we do and also have a clear goal in life. Nowadays, we have different challenges. Time ago, we're talking about the past and some of you that who are uh, generation um, X, generations and baby boomers. So people should have like better opportunities in the past now. If you want to buy the house, you should have to pay a lot of money you should have like a very stable economy. Things are more challenging for people if you want to acquire any property or something else. More expensive things, the, the salaries, everything is expensive. The, the, you know, different things that perhaps we can analyze. So there are different challenges for millennials and there are advantages and also disadvantages about that. So that's really important. Okay, now... We're going to continue with the second part because, well, honestly, guys, um, as I told you, one of the best ways to maximize your English skills is what we do now here talking. I mean, not just like be as a listener. Listen, listen, that's good, but it's not enough because you're very passive about what we're doing. So I want you to talk, participate actively, get confidence, especially in the conversations. So we're going to be working with the following part. We have different questions combining two generations. We're talking about baby boomers, and millennials. So we're going to ask, uh, let's see, volunteer to, you know, share three of the following questions. 
We're going to call to uh, Sufrido. Hi, Sufrido. Hello. Hi. Uh, could you do me a favor to read the questions we have right there? Okay. Let me see. What are some common stereotypes about baby boomers and millennials? The second one. How has the relationship between baby boomers and millennials been depicted in the media? What are some key differences between baby boomers and millennials in terms of values, or ethic, and social attitudes? Or has the economic environment in which baby boomers and millennial, millennials came of age affected their respective experience and opportunities? What role do cultural differences play in the perceived tensions between baby boomers and millennials? How have baby boomers and millennials responded to the challenge and opportunities of technological change? Okay. Thank you so much, Harry. Appreciate it. I need to reply to each one. <laughs> yeah, it's actually great. So, well, I was actually thinking about different things uh, between the baby boomers and millennials, and uh, there are different uh, different things, the stereotypes. And uh, also different things about both generations. Also the economy, attitudes, work ethics, and social attitudes. And uh, I just wanna explain you the reasons why. For example, I know people who are baby boomers and they have uh, job stabilities. Many of them take like 20 years, 30 years in a company, 40 years in a company. People in the past, they used to be in a, in a job, in a company for a long time. But the only one difference about millennials is that they start a job of the, the job hoopers that, that we saw the content. You know, there are some circumstances in which people suddenly after two years, they switch jobs because there is a new job opportunity, a different offer, and they decided to switch the job. And uh, we're comparing in the past onto the present, why uh, baby boomers took more time working in the same company for many years in baby more sweet jobs. So you had to analyze some important points about this. And uh, something interesting, how has the econ economic environment in which baby boomers and millennials uh, came, let me see, came of age affected their respective experiences and opportunities. Perhaps the baby boomers have different job opportunities that now millennials have. Different resources, different resources in the millennials. The economy in the past was totally different to millennials economy. Everything is more expensive, the inflation, a lot of problems about social status, a lot of things perhaps we can analyze. What role do cultural differences play in the perceived tensions between baby boomers and millennials? And how have baby boomers and millennials responded to the challenges and opportunities of technological change? Perhaps in the past, baby boomers didn't experience the influence of technology that nowadays we have. It's actually two different times. Nowadays, we have incredible technology that overcome our expectations, like also like Bluetooth, like internet access, cell phones, smartphones, smart televisions, a lot of things that perhaps it makes life easier for millennials and also for Generation C and also for Generation Alpha and in comparison to baby boomers. So we can see the differences about the opportunities, about chances, about capacity. So we can also analyze this part. So I will give you a couple of minutes to respond each question in a brief way. Um, try to respond each one in a brief way. Like don't like go deeper about each questions because I'm out of time, but I want you to give a clear um, understanding about the questions about millennials. And well, so don't forget that when we're talking about millennials, we're talking about some specific time. And do you remember the age, the born of the baby, the baby boomers? Do you remember the time? As we said, the um, baby boomers started in 1955 until 1964. That we call baby boomers too, right? Uh, also, people call like Generation Jones, right? So the ages nowadays like 59, 68, 1955, 
1964. And then millennials that started in 1981 until 1996. So we can compare both generations. So I will give you a short time to analyze each question. And then we're gonna take a short time to work in a plenary discussing the advantages in that case and experiences that millennials experience all the time. For example, I was like thinking about the values of work in the past and social attitudes, how people were in the past and nowadays how they are about the social changes, about the behavior, attitude, machisms, responsibility for people, equality. Um, there are different perspectives from the 1955 until 1996. So we can start, try to respond to questions, and then we're going to take a short time to socialize the, well, the answers. Don't forget that if you have any questions or doubt related to vocabulary, you have a freedom to ask. Richard William, could you help me with that? Because I have a doubt to give a word, or I don't know how to say that in English. So you can also use the chat or activate the microphone and I can help you with that part. Let's do it, guys.
um, any questions or doubts related to the questions or the questions are clear by any chance reading our questions perhaps that maybe is there something that I can help you Uh, at the moment, no questions, teacher. Okay, thank you for telling me. Emerson, everything is okay? Yes, teacher, it's okay. The questions are clarity. Okay, perfect. Well, we're going to take um, a short time to check the attendant list again. So um, you listen your name and you say present. Okay, let's see. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present teacher. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. 
Present. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present. Eh, Rafael Alexander Cerna. Present. Eh, Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sifrid Ernesto Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you, eh, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, teacher, excuse me, uh, how can I say um, son bien vistos ante la sociedad? You say um, son bien vistos are like, are they are well seen. They are well seen. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, look at the chat like this. This one. Okay. And seen is... Is in passport, past right? Yes, it's the past participle form mm -hmm. of the bird C. C so seen. And also okay. in the society in the society. Yes. And what what is the application of in this context? Uh, why we use sim? Uh, because I mean it's a combination of the 
it's called passive voiced are seen are done are taken we call it a passive voiced what what is the name of 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 topic maybe is the passive voice one the active voice is i see but ah, okay when we used uh, passive, ah, voice, passive voice passive voiced okay okay yes thank you thank you teacher you're welcome Okay, students, I will give you two more minutes and then we go back to the breaker rooms because I want you to take a short time to socialize the questions because our important points to discuss about millennials. So some of them we gave an opinion about combining both, but at the same time, perhaps you investigated a little bit about uh, the baby boomers. But the most important is you become active in this and be spontaneous to socialize your point of view. Okay, we have a couple of minutes to um, practice with the breaker rooms. So we're gonna recreate the groups because I need you to um, be very brief and uh, socialize each question. So what you can do is guys, you can switch because if we respond each questions, we're gonna take a lot of time. So we're gonna be like switching. Okay, I respond number one, you respond number two, then you number three, you number four, so we are brief to uh, respond to questions. So we can also switch because of the time and give your point of view about each one. And you can also say if you agree or not. So let's start and be ready to be in the groups.
Okay, yes. I, I have the, the answer for the first, second, and third question. Okay. Uh, for me, in the first um, question, what are some common stereoty stereotypes about baby boomers and millennials? I feel the, I, I think, in my opinion, uh, the, the, attitude, the attitude, attitude. Yeah. Attitude, maybe. Attitude. The attitude of the baby boomer is serious and boring. In general, right? In general. And mm -hmm. unlike millennials, they take the activities with enthusiasm. In enthusiasm. Also, also, Kevin, um, I, I, I just reading, just was, just was reading. Uh, the baby boomers uh, always are looking for a success 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 uh -huh. okay uh, but uh, millennials is no not the same. wow I, I don't know i don't know in general yeah in, in general the idea i i agree because i i have some some friends <laughs> Uh, the success is doesn't important. It yes, doesn't yes. matter. It doesn't matter yeah. for for they. For example, uh, uh, the true. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in this topic, uh, this classification about the age and gen generation. Uh, I don't know if it's the true. Uh, something mm -hmm. right about that. Well, I in think... my opinion. Uh, is is real okay you, you can identify you can identify some specific some characteristics yeah yeah okay. okay i don't know if if it for if is for uh, the technologies the new new ideas for the people and other other yeah. things that bring uh, of the people to the people bring to the people uh, different characteristics I, it, it is my opinion no it's good it's good i don't know yeah. if Holtzman is agree with the generations uh, for me, depend the person, not okay. for me in general. For for example, uh, exactly person in the boomer, uh, the generation boomer, uh, the baby boomer, is a technology, very yeah, technology. Yeah. For example, engineering system, and um, yeah. baby boomer is is very interesting. That for the create the program yeah. or user the system. Yeah, the technology is, is similar. Is similar. Exactly, is similar in the in the millennial. No other millennial is the technology. Other uh, millennial is the, for example, uh, like like uh, the the read books, for example. Yeah, it's yeah, no more yeah. Use technology. <laughs> or other example is in the music, the yeah. the contemporary music that like the uh, a more like millennial. Or <laughs> non <laughs> exactly. Uh, 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 in the, for me, it depends the 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 person and the form general is the your opinion is is really there, right? Yeah. And what about you, Jose Salvador? What do uh, you think? In my opinion, there are many stereotypes. Um, about baby boomer and millennial. Okay. Don't it isn't real. Oh, uh, well. Uh, do you have an example? It use of the stereotype. Is in seventy nine. Uh, <laughs> I the study when the when the computer when the computer born. The I use computer. the computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I use the computer when when finish my 
my study in university. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, in my first words is uh, I was I was younger and I need I I I I need to to learn to learn use the computer. But the technology is run fast, and now uh, I have a problem with use the different the different pro com program computer and mm -hmm. and help help position help position is I don't I don't I don't use the program computer very well. All, always I have a problem, and today I I was I was working and use the 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 create uh, the map and um, it's necessary to use the use the help position the different mm -hmm. how do you say satellite teacher satellite uh, the pronunciation is satellite Sat ah, okay the position is satellite satellite and, uh, satellite. satellite oh nice okay satellite but i have a problem with the use the the, the program computer it, it is different and the millennial is can use the 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 very well the different program computer and and me i have a problem but i don't i don't i know no sorry i am not i am not the baby boomer as the generation uh -huh. x <laughs> <laughs> no you know that class is <laughs> <laughs> I'll say you are bad. <laughs> no, no, I, I am man, but but it's not it's not baby boomer. <laughs> I am I am 50, 54 years old. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's <When>, alive. <laughs> <laughs> when right I now. finish my when I finish my study in university, you you was born, I think so. Could be. <laughs> I, could be. <laughs> and I write, I write, and I write a report is the 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 relationship between and the baby mover and millennial is the the millennial uh, have a, 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 a have a question is the problem is the baby boomer is the parents for the millennial and and the mm -hmm. the millennial have uh have a different ask quejas how do you say quejas complaints Juris? complaints oh. complaints complaints okay oh, and the the you 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 sound is complaint for, for the parents Well, students, um, time has got already gone. I really appreciate the effort and also the participation that you have already had here in the class because you have been working actively. Well, the time has really has gone after when, after practicing and that's something very valuable. So I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you. Enjoy and record energy. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Tonight, good, night. good evening, everybody. Good night, good night, good night, good night everybody. everybody. <laughs> oh, nice.